Okay, welcome to this recorded dissertation preparation session um, for your um, business analysis section. Um, my name is Ben Dixon Green. Um, you may, we may well have seen each other already through the course, um, but just in case you haven't, hi. It's nice to it's nice to get a chance to have a chat to you. Um, what we're going to be going through today is just some key models that you may or may not be familiar with, just to give you a grounding in um, strategic analysis, uh, which you may well find useful. Uh, when you come and complete your dissertation. So what we're going to be covering in this session is a number of different kind of tools and techniques that you may or may not have come across before um, that will help you to analyse the organisation's environment and the strategy that your organisation is currently adopting. Now there are lots of different ways of analysing your organisation's position um, and the, the, the issues that might affect it. Um, but some of the main ways of doing that will be via spent analysis, um, Porter's Five Forces um, and SWOT. And we're going to be going through those in some detail. Now don't worry, if, if you have seen them before, that's absolutely fine. This is just a, going to be a bit of a refresher for you. If you haven't seen them before, uh, we'll be going through them from scratch, so don't worry. But these are all very useful techniques that you can use to try and really get to grips with the issues that might face your organisation. Um, the other thing that we're going to be looking at that you might just find helps you a little bit um, is a couple of models to do with strategic options. These are basically models that you can use to try and give you a feel for or an understanding of, of what the organisation's strategy actually is and why it might be one that your organisation has chosen to use. So there are a couple of little extra kind of models in there that just might give you a little bit of extra depth to your understanding of the organisation that you're going to be analysing. Now, a big part of the focus of this session is going to be on external analysis. Now, what we're doing here is we're going to try and get to grips with kind of one key question, which is what's happening outside our organisation that might impact on us? So if you look at your company, we want you to get to the point where you kind of have a good ability to analyse the external world around your organisation and identify all the things that could potentially be impacting on it. Now, by impacting on it, it means anything that, you know, your company might have to take account of when it's coming up with new strategies or, you know, anything that could impact on a company, whether it's financially, whether it's things that might impact on the products it sells, where it sells them, um, on its employees. Basically, you're just trying to get a big list of things that could potentially um, impact on your business and how it might impact on your business. Now, that is an absolutely enormous job. I mean, imagine, for example, that you are, um, I don't know, a supermarket chain like Tesco's or something like that. If you try and just sit down and think, right, what are the, what are the various external forces or issues that might impact Tesco's? Well, I mean, where do you even start? There are so many different things that you could talk about that it's really confusing and difficult to do. So what we're going to try and do is, is break that idea down into kind of bite-sized chunks, if you like. So the first thing we're going to do is break it down into macro-environmental and micro-environmental analysis. Now, macro-environmental analysis means you look at things that aren't specific to your industry, but that could impact on your organisation. So anything to do with, you know, I mean, for, for Tesco, for instance, you might talk about Brexit. That will be macro-environmental. Brexit isn't specifically linked to the supermarket industry, so it's not tied into what Tesco's does, but it still impacts it. So we want to identify issues like that, um, and there's a model we use for that called spent analysis. The second way of analysing your environment is to look at micro-environmental issues. So these are things that are specific to your industry, um, but again, that will have an impact on the company and what it does and its strategies. So for Tesco, this could be, for example, uh, rising food prices. It could be the impact of competitors in their industry. It could be changing customer demand for its products. So they're things that are specific to the supermarket industry that Tesco operates in, um, and that, again, we want to take account of when Tesco is deciding on its strategies, or, or you know, understanding these points will also help us um, identify kind of what's going on with Tesco and, and understand its position as an organisation. Microenvironmental analysis focuses on a model called Porter's Five Forces that we're going to have a look at. 
So we've got two models essentially we're going to look at. We've got pest or spent analysis, which we'll come on to first, which is macro environmental. And we've got Porter's five forces, which is micro environmental analysis. And in theory, once you've done the two of them, you get a really good overall picture of the external issues that are going to impact our business. So we're going to have a look at um, macro environmental first, and then we're going to move on to micro environmental analysis straight after.